I think competition between uh, great powers, China and the U.S. could be helpful. Uh, and I think we're seeing some of that in the United States as uh, the debate about how to address China's economic uh, prowess uh, plays out. Um, at the same time, there needs to be a level of cooperation to address global problems like climate change. So uh, we need to have constructive engagement with China at the same time that we're competing with them economically to uh, win the 21st century markets for clean technology. China has definitely positioned itself to be a leader in, in green technology. It has uh, really been a key player in driving down the cost of solar power by mass manufacturing of solar panels, which they export around the world. Uh, they also produce uh, and both use domestically and export uh, large uh, wind turbines uh, competing with uh, other makers around the world and, and now have a strategic commitment to uh, electric vehicles. Um, over 90% of all the electric buses in the world are in China uh, and China is moving rapidly towards uh, electrifying new uh, new passenger vehicles as well. So uh, that is a strategic decision that's China that China has made over the last uh, five years or so uh, in the in the in the late twenty uh, tens uh, and into early twenty twenty, and uh, I, I think the. Uh, challenge for the United States and other countries will be how to both take advantage of uh, the cost reductions that some of the Chinese firms have uh, established in their through their large scale investment, but also to create alternative supply chains so that we're not uh, solely dependent on China for, uh, for example, electric vehicle batteries or solar panels.